Hello, avatars! Great job on choosing an amazing game and community to join. I am just... Oh, darling, my heart burns for you like a thousand suns. Oh, hello! How did you get here? Wait, wait, let me check something! Oh no! Oh no! That could have been bad! That could have been very bad! I left the gate unlocked! Well, I guess now is as good a time as any to start our next video, huh? And this is a great place to start too! PvP Best Practices! If you happen to be a homeowner, I would strongly advise you to keep your gates front and back doors locked. If you don't, other players can come onto your property while you're, say, oh, I don't know, writing a love letter to someone, and jack you up and steal your stuff. And by stuff, I mean the stuff on your person, not your deco stuff. To lock your doors and gates, simply right-click on them and select Lock. From the Manage Lot Access screen, you can check the Lock Doors box to lock all doors and gates on your lot. If a door or fence is open but locked, those without access will still be blocked from getting in. Let's talk about the ransom when you die. Going into release 50, there are some changes that will directly affect PvP and the ransom system. Currently people carry around large quantities of equipable lightweight items to reduce the chance of their high-end gear being chosen for ransom, but per Chris, the game will only include the first instance of an object, meaning of those 500 rusty daggers, only the first will go on the list of potential ransom items. But here's a question for you. What if you carried around 50 or so different lightweight equipable items? This could be a way to reduce the chance of your high-end gear being chosen for ransom. It is something I'm going to experiment with moving forward. If you're not subscribed, click subscribe. If you like what you see, give a thumbs up and feedback is welcome in the comment section. Have a great day!